The Oha leaf, yes, the star of the moment goes in. Because if I don't do that, you will see that this very plantain and the beans. My Senegalese neighbors got for me. <laughs> Celebrating today. This is what they got for me. guys good morning how is everyone doing welcome back again to my <coughs> channel welcome to a new vlog if, if this is going to be uh -huh. a beginning of a new video you're welcome to my channel welcome to a new vlog if today is the first time i've come across my video hi welcome to my returning subscribers you guys are the best welcome back to a new video but if it's not going to be a beginning of a new video you guys i want to go to the kitchen and fix something here I'm losing my hair guys so let me go fix something and David, the shaman, for go out from that water. I try to stay thoroughly, like miss everything together. Miss miss when I say let everything mix together because my son, King David, is so picky. Yeah, because if I don't do that, you will see that this very plantain and the beans, he's going to end up eating either only the beans or only the plantain. Now everything is well mixed. He don't have a choice but to eat all together. 
feel a lot better after taking my baits just when I say let me feel myself a knock on the door and it's my neighbors <coughs> You guys, look at what my Senegalese neighbors got for me. <laughs> they are celebrating today. This is what they got for me. Here in Senegal, both Muslims and Christians, they coexist. They celebrate with each other. You can see. This chicken and um, veggies. For Fries every celebration, the they have a particular food that they celebrate with. Yes. This very one is with chicken and the fries and the veggies. And there's another one that they celebrate it with their ram. Yeah. And I've learned to always celebrate with them. Whenever they are cele um, we Christians are celebrating, I always celebrate with them, share with them. Let's show love, no matter the religion. This country is so peaceful, like they teach you what love is all about, both the Muslim and the Christians. It's haircut day. Let me accompany father and son to go have their haircut. I'm getting ready to go to church. Happy Sunday, guys. years later we are home happy sunday guys happy new week god's not in this new week a fruitful one amen we are home and i'm about to cook this is an impromptu cooking but i'm so loving it this is a catfish yeah a big one and uh, we have our hand leaves here backstory to all these poachers here in Senegal, we have Nigerian stores where one can easily go and get any Nigerian food ranging from beverages, um, cream, though it's limited, not all the things that you will see, but there are some certain things, foodstuffs, you will get to see in a Nigerian store, yeah, but Oha leaf, Ugu leaf, is something that doesn't come often. Luckily, my husband went to a Nigerian store to get some few things. He went to get some beverages and um, the toll, yes. Yeah. And it happens that all her leaf was on sales. My husband had to get some for us and those is leaf with that fish. And that changed the whole plan for today because on Sundays, I want to just do once we come back from church is just to prepare what rice and bring out stew from the fridge and i prepare it everybody eats but today today is going to be a different thing altogether that's a change of plan but this very one i am just preparing it with all joy though i was supposed to cook it that yesterday which was on saturday evening but i was very very tired and um, i said today i will do it and i don't want it to pass today because the oha leaf is not all that um, fresh yeah so the earlier the better everybody wants to eat yeah everybody wants this oha soup so 
let me quickly prepare it and i decided to carry us along with me as i prepare this or has soup this is not something we get to see all the time <laughs> In case if you have not hit on the like button, please help me hit on the like button as a thumbs up to the video and subscribe if you haven't and if today is your first time of coming across my channel, welcome. I just added in the cocoa yam, this is there, grinded cocoa yam and I'm stirring, stirring thoroughly so that everything we miss, if you don't get to do it that way, it might stick to some meat so let it miss and come out so smooth here yeah? thank you so much if you watched it now i just added in the agree that's what mm. i just did now <laughs> and at this point the aroma in my home is picking delicious food in process in progress right And it's time to add the Oziza leaves. You can see that it's not all that fresh. This dry one. But who cares? As long as we are having Oziza in this soup, Oziza leaves in this soup, there's a very good taste that Oziza, there's a very good taste that Oziza leaves add to soup. Yeah. And this very one is not an exception. Next is the Oha leaf. Yes, the star of the moment it goes in. Even though it's not all that fresh, but we have our hot soup ready. That is the main thing. Our hot soup is ready. And to be honest, this tasted so good. Soup is ready, guys. Let me go ahead and boil water for the pounded yam. Yeah, that's what we are using for this very hot soup. And this is the most difficult part of cooking this kind of meal. On Sunday, we didn't get to eat our Sunday rice because of the soup I made. And you know, in a typical Nigerian home, our Sunday rice is special. So today, there is Monday. That is Monday. I am making pepper soup and rice. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't.